Sagittarius, welcome back for your February update. Those of you who are new, a very warm welcome. Those of you who are wanting to look at your romance house, there is a separate video recorded for that. But I have pulled an additional card connected to your Venus house. I have pulled cards already and I have tuned into it. And I've had to do it a few times because of interruptions. So you might be dealing with aspects of interruptions and quite a heavy schedule this month. Um, if you are wanting a booking, you can go to the link directly below and I will be live on the channel during the month for any energy updates I feel connected to the astrology. Now we'll get into the read because it's quite an interesting read. You've got, you've got a lot of information coming through. I am feeling for those of you who are wondering about a person from the past, I do feel that you really, you're thinking that you've done your best. I do feel energetically you really have done the best you physically can. I don't feel it's as per se you're needing to change anything that naturally comes about with ebbs and flows. I do feel you're processing the aspect that you've done the very best you can. I also do feel you may visually see this person or feel the ball is in their court. Some of you also will be getting to the point where it can be energy from an old tribe and it can be within a work sector, with an old friendship group. Um, some of these people you're thinking about and you're, you know, the energy of 2018 was very hectic. So a lot of us lost touch with connections. It might have been through choice. It might have been through necessity or physically choosing to move away from that tribe. Some of these people are coming back because they're meant to come back into your life, but it's because both you and these parties have changed. What I am seeing at the moment is there is a potential for you to go back to a previous employer for some of you. You may be entertaining it. There is more cash connected to this. There's also, a, but I do feel emotionally this is going to be a temporary thing. So it's not that it won't be a safe environment for you to return to. There is negotiations that need to be looked at. And if you're going to do that, you need to do it prior to March because we do have Mercury going retrograde on the 5th so any contracts that you need to tie up get them done prior to that if you are thinking about jumping out of one hot pot into another and I don't feel it's going to be a hot pot I do feel it'll be a smooth transition merely be mindful of the connection to mercury with contracts and legalities you want to get that done and dusted before then <clears throat> I'm also seeing if you have any um, aspects of taxation or paperwork or finances you need to get in order 2018 was difficult to achieve that. March will give you a brief insight into your financial aspects to give you a heads up of where you are right now. So it doesn't have to be a punishment or a tower moment, but it can be an aha epiphany moment. That's going to help you really gain some clarity in moving forward. January for you guys and for everyone collectively was more a meditative state. So really looking at multiple scenarios of ways you could physically move forward with multiple scenarios of what those outcomes would be. A lot of us weren't able to gain the forward momentum due to too many balls in the air and too many ways a situation can come about without the direct clarity of what was going to happen. This clarity from the total lunar eclipse will be coming through in the next four to eight weeks. So some of these pieces of the puzzle are going to come together very gradually to show you more information to make a very cemented um, decision on what path to follow. And that is in every area of your life, um, especially within your chart. Personally, if you look at it, you can see. But it'll be more the things that you are directly meditating upon within January that will be the aspects of what will come to you in a sense of clarity. <clears throat> it's interesting because my throat's gone and... With this person you haven't seen, it is connected to communication, and I do feel you're quite frustrated. Um, communication may have been an issue, and this can be on either side of the fence. It doesn't directly have to be connected to you. So remember, the energies can shift depending on what's coming in psychically. I do feel if you do communicate with this person, I'm also feeling for some of you there is an old boss that you worked with that's unwell. And I, I do feel this to be an older male energy. Um, and this can be more for the masculine energies of this zodiac sign. I, I don't feel this is for the feminine energies. I feel it's more for the masculine clients. 
that there is an old boss that that felt like a kin um, connection and by reaching out I feel there is an aspect of healing that comes through with that I don't feel it's terrible energy in a sense of unwell it's just the age bracket and uh, you know where they are in their life Within your education area, now this can be spiritually or 3D wise in the education sector, you're building a relationship back with your intuition. And I've, being in reverse, it can be that there was something that you were working on previously that you, you feel very angry about that it didn't quite come about. And this can be in a lesson sense and a 3D sense connected to a person, but it can also be connected to your upskilling. That you weren't as focused and able to achieve certain things because there were a lot of balls in the air in your life. And this can be even years ago. And it's coming back on the table for reassessment. Some of you are considering upskilling this year or moving to a higher level of employment. Some of it was out of your hands, but you're punishing yourself and you're needing to regain that relationship with your third eye. Some of you also feel you don't have the concentration um, moving into February and you're not quite sure what the ideal road looks like this can be in a sense of who to merge with um, for those of you who are wanting to um, start a business and you're looking at partnerships it can be really concerned in relation to what road would be the correct road and how to manage it I also feel some of you are less than inspired connected to a group in your work domain and you're trying to look for that, but you're not sure you can trust your intuition because you want to keep the equilibrium going, the finances, etc., or whatever you're physically doing there. But it feels as though you're not trusting it and you're still um, assessing the situation because you, I feel it's due to your 3D situation in your life. This could be because you have a partner, a wife, family, financial obligations. You're looking at the bigger picture and you're not wanting to make similar mistakes to yesteryears. So you're trying to reapply it in a correct manner. So the third eye in reverse doesn't have to be that you have no trust in your intuition. It can be you're being super cautious and you, you want to go with your heart, but you also want to go with your head in a way. Um, and it, you need to be cautious there, but be in the knowing about the reasons why you're doing things. The lesson may be that you physically need to trust in your third eye. If you're sensing something's um, coming, really tune into it and then make the adjustments necessary um, for that situation. If you are studying, some of you might be looking at the area you're studying in and saying, this doesn't directly connect to me any longer. What am I going to do about it? Do I follow through to the end or do I jump ship and shift um, to grow in a different area. I'm feeling a lot of you that are doing that. It may be coming to a point where you're mastering a certain thing and you're branching out and adding to that. How do I put it? It's a bit like when you've got to select a component that you will be um, experienced in, so to speak. That's only why I can explain it. It's like nursing. You know, you're doing your nursing and you, you want to um, specialise in midwife or elderly care, whatever it be. It's like a specialty field and you're getting to that point where you're looking at it thinking, okay, becoming a master of something but really moving towards that frequency. And that's only relevant for those of you who are at that point where you're moving down the road of education. Separately, though, I do feel some of you are looking at employment and really reassessing that. Financially speaking, I do feel you're putting a great deal of effort into situations and into your employment. And I do feel you will see a marked increase by August. And again, the frequency from the moon, you do tend to find that it lasts six months. So whatever you were attempting to manifest or old chapters ending and, and cycling out, this can even be your attitude towards your employment, the attitude towards your life and your romance and your, your pain body experience. You're physically moving forward and this year it bodes very well. The year of the pig is very good for financial growth, providing you're doing all you need to do um, to make the best of the situation also don't get to the point where as much as is coming in um that you're feeling like you how do i put it 
overcompensation. Be cautious. Still keep enough to keep you going. Um, but I do feel financially speaking by August, it's really, uh, it, things are going to move very quickly. You still don't have clarity in employment at the moment for some of you or how it's going to look, what it's going to be like. Some of you are mastering an art within your employment and some of you, I do feel you won't have the clarity for eight weeks if you're applying for a position. Can be eight days, eight weeks. But I do feel you're really putting a lot of effort into the situation and I'm seeing big changes there. Those of you that are multitasking and you have a business and you're working, I do feel it's going to go quite successfully. And I'm seeing five months potentially before you can actually leave your previous employment and just focus completely on um, you actually managing a company, if that's so. Your health might be something that you're actually confronting this month but i don't feel it's a physical thing i feel it's an emotional thing this can even be your belief within yourself really having to focus on your past you might find at times it's like it was again it can be like the dark night of the soul and you're looking back and going wow how far have i come but looking back at it sometimes can make you feel um, a little bit disturbed of how far you've come and what you actually went through sometimes it's like you feel you're two people uh, and that that's how grand the actual transformation is going to be or has been and looking at it it's the shadow aspect and we all have it. We all have, you know, the dark and the light. We all have those energies within us, but it can be your childhood you're looking at through another person's eyes. So it may be some of you have children and you're looking at it. And during the partial solar eclipse, I feel some of you may have heard that you're having a child for some of you. Others of you are looking through children's eyes at your childhood and grasping how far you've come, and you should really be very proud. Some of you have felt that in the past you had to wear a mask because you didn't want to address some of those shadow aspects or some of the darker things that perhaps have happened to you. Um, and I do feel if you're experiencing night terrors, I do feel it's to help you actually resolve some of these things. I do feel that if this is really hindering you and you go to a hypnotherapist, again, I'm not a doctor, but I'm saying hypnotherapy um, in a regression sense, helping you to release that so it's not interfering with your sleep pattern. I've got terrible hay fever. This health vibration, I'm feeling you're really in your mind quite a bit. And it's interesting because you've got third eye in reverse, but I'm feeling somehow, even if you're not thinking about these things, they're coming through in your sleeping life. Other people in the past who haven't believed and knew they might be quite negative towards you this month, drop it like it's hot and keep moving because like a lot of it is to do with their fair base frequencies so other people might be a bit more down and not as much um how would i put it it's like you're creating your own bubble but i don't feel you're getting to a point where you're thinking you need to totally remove yourself it's just you're noticing people's frequencies and with them being negative, it's it's due to the fact that they have no options. So the way they're projecting at you is, hey, you can't do X, Y, and Z. You know, you're this, you're that. It's it's very projection um, energy. And a lot of that energy was coming through in January. But for you guys, I feel it might be coming through and you're observing it more so. And I am seeing you to visually see some of these trigger points coming through in other people. Be mindful of that and don't take it on board. Don't own it, similar to what was happening previously, perhaps in your childhood, because it's coming up for you to deal with it in other people. So if it's coming up and you're like, ah, oh, I've been here before, it's to help you understand how far you've literally come. It's not to hinder you and say, hey, here it goes again. It's more, hey, look how far you've actually come. This is what perhaps people used to do to you in your childhood, family, kin, school, and now them not being as supportive around you now, other people, 
it's because they're lacking in options to see the truth of the matter that they're projecting at you. It's, you know, when we talk about spirituality, a lot of times we don't grasp it's the self-awareness, it's the psychology behind it, it's the growth within you as a human being and knowing. Even your life adversity and your childhood, it's all shaping you. So even the worst things that could possibly happen to us literally shape us to be the best human beings providing we use it as a tool in the correct manner and i'm feeling as though you've really grown and so when people are doing this to you be mindful of it move through that frequency and don't allow it to trigger you because it's an old pain body experience it's there to show you like an assessment at school have you passed is it going to affect you any longer are we going to be governed by the pain body experience of the ego screaming at us saying oh my god it's happening again no it's not it's them it's not you that's a them problem, not a you problem. Don't take it on board. Your family at the moment, some of you might not be having enough time with your family. You might be really in neck deep when it does come to um, you working, you getting things done. As some of you, there's travel directly connected. Some of you are uh, at a distance. Others of you that were on holiday, you're returning now back to work and that time frame to have there isn't there. I do feel this to be quite a busy month. But you're showing people, you know, how to do it. You're being a teacher by, by doing the work in your own life. So what your family's not seeing is that you're learning and you've changed. But they're not seeing it that way. The observations, though, it's, it's their perspective, not your perspective. So don't own what's going on. Some of you might be stepping away from family members and, and not having the time to and, and choosing not to. But you're, this is part of your education to become part of your own energy. So sometimes by removing yourself temporarily from family or permanently, whatever you directly spiritually choose, it can be to help you spiritually grow your own identity very separate to family. Some of you may be seeing family members that you haven't seen in a long time. I'm also seeing an energy of a brother that passed over for some of you that's relevant and it might be an anniversary coming up. They may have been very quiet the way they spoke. Very, very recluse I'm hearing. And this could be like, a, it doesn't have to be a biological brother. It can be a person you felt was like a brother and it can actually be the anniversary of them passing. I feel their energy around you protecting you and it felt like they were family and since they've been gone it just doesn't feel such. So it can be an anniversary. But really that that energy of what occurred then, what you had to release, what you lost has actually made you grow. Um, so it's it has been an education in itself. And you've tried to make yourself um, the best version of yourself you can be. I do feel they had a tattoo down the arm for those of you who that's relevant. And it might have been they were shorter than you, but they were larger than life, I'm hearing. And they're very proud of you. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, for the male energies, I don't know why this is coming through so heavy. It may be that you guys need a bit more guidance this month. I'll tune into the feminines as well, but there's been two messages for the male energies. Um, they're making comment to your shoes, okay? So I don't know why that's relevant. Um, and it might have been a comical thing that you both shared with each other. You may have recently got some new kicks and they're like, yeah, they're nice. Just saying. Let's pull an additional card for the females. Those of you that are wanting to connect with a love interest, feminines, I do feel some of you are feeling, again, you're looking at your childhood as well. You're remembering back to the way family used to be, love used to be, what you're wanting to create in the future. This can even be in a romance sense. You know that, that beautiful picture we have on that wall with all our memories, the Nickelback song? If you're worried that things aren't going to come about the way you hoped and dreamed, you need to understand that nothing ever stays the same forever. So even when you're down on luck and you're thinking things aren't going to change, get to a point you actually understand all your manifestations and your hopes and dreams are going to come. 
when you do look at your family and you're wanting balance there, it is coming. Some of you may be in conflict with a sister figure or a feminine energy. Now, January was pretty heavy for that, and that's both for masculines and feminines. You know, January was super heavy for female energies and kin-related dynamics. So all of us really were in the thick of it. That is balancing out. It's not remaining the same. The nodes in Cancer and Capricorn at the moment, which is the strictness and taking accountability, wanting to move forward for Capricorn, it's it's very rigid in ways, not in all ways, but in, but in the responsibility setting and the way they perceive things, black and white. In, in the Cancerian frequency, it's very family oriented. It's very emotional, um, and and the, the waters can run deep. That's moving all the way through to March. Then it does transition over. Know that it's temporary, but anything that's coming up is there to be addressed to create the balance in your life moving forward. So if you need to resolve things connected to family, it would be coming up. And again, it can go for another two months where gradually more information is coming. Your perspective, your perception is changing to heal those energies and balance it out. Your travel at the moment, in some shapes and form, you feel spiritually certain options aren't there for you and you're being restricted. It is temporary, but it's there to create a lesson. It, sometimes even removing people from your life and removing the ability for you to travel means it gets you to a point you fight for things, that you make things happen. The spiritual aspect of this transition moving into the age of Aquarius is really training us to be very resourceful but very creative at the same time about the way we do things. So the way we financially achieve, the way we manifest cash components, the way we trade, um, the way we create travel. It can be different. Like it doesn't have to be physically getting on a plane or moving. Even when you're stuck in the thick of it and you can't move and everything is eat, pray, repeat, it doesn't remain the same forever. It's temporary, but it does give you the fight to be able to achieve this, to turn it around. Okay, so if you feel it's limited, it's there for a reason. Trust in that process. Things do move. Mercury retrograde is not the best time to travel. So if you can avoid travel around March, do so. If you can't, you can't. And that's for operations, contracts, travel. It can hinder you. Um, in a sense that we may miss things, there can be crosswise, there can be lost tickets, there can be technical difficulties. So it's definitely not the best time for those things. At the moment, um, due to some plans you have, I feel there's a delay, but this is a temporary energy. This is for February and it can shift. Just be mindful of that. Don't get to the point you think everything is doom and gloom and it's never going to change. It is going to change, but temporarily speaking, the lack of movement and the um, suppression of whatever you're dealing with at a 3D level is there to help you um, transcend. In a left or right setting, you're needing to find the balance. So providing you create a balance in all areas of your life, you will see the truth of what left or right to take. Again, I am seeing the Libran transit to be important to you and I'll connect the dots in astrology. It again depends on... Um, what you're wanting to balance. If it's romance, again, look at your Venus house, look at your Venus sign, and I have pulled a Venus card for you guys to create that balance. If it's connected to employment, again, find a balance and do the meditation. And if you don't have a certain answer, don't take a leap of faith or seek guidance. You do feel you've got to do something though because there is an out of balance situation at the moment. So you're trying to create the balance to give you the freedom. But because you're uncertain, both options may feel very negative. Finding a balance can achieve a point where you can then assess what would look um, more comfortable for you. But I do feel it's about shifting things about, moving things about to a point where you feel comfortable Assess your life, critique it, look at it. You know, what's your schedule like? Um, what are you doing to give back to yourself? Where are people taking too much and not giving back? Really assess it and create that balance in your own life. Some of it might feel uncomfortable and some of it may be coming through very comfortably for you, especially being a two in duality. So I do feel if you're working together in a team and you're feeling key players aren't working with you, 
understand it's a them problem, not a you problem. Don't take it on board to create the balance. Okay. I am feeling for those of you within your Venus house, you're taking the lead. Now, you may be very passionate about an energy of a person. This can be a super romantic time for you, providing there is balance, providing you know what you're wanting. And I do feel there will be added vitality into your romance sector, providing you're taking the lead and initiating the communication, the understanding. I do feel if this is connected to a love interest you're interested in, they're coming into duality and they're manifesting through obstacles in order to come towards you. But I do feel for you personally, you need to give to the things that you're passionate about. And I feel that's going to balance your life out, providing you're in your own energy and doing things that you're really passionate about. I re for some of you, there can be awards coming through and this can be, you know, within your employment. It can also be the way people perceive you and see you. I am feeling with your hands, um, they have a healing energy and they're repairing, but you do need to take care of your hands. I also feel vibrationally when you touch, you can sense energy. Some of you will be also working with your hands in relation to a style of employment creativity. Um, it can be Reiki, it can be massage and very separately any other aspect but it feels create adventure those of you who had a loved one pass over that was romantically speaking connected i do feel they're trying to send you signs and synchronicities and they're wanting you to dream large they're wanting you to reach for the stars. I do feel your health is going to pick up, and especially the connection within your relationships for those of you who are coupled. Hmm. Those of you who are wanting to have children, there's a potential that can be coming through. But I do feel it's about getting blood works done to keep the balance, especially with um, health coming through in the sector at the moment. But I do feel, um, how do I put it? Try to keep grounded, be it on your side or their side. You know, that's really important. It doesn't just come down to the, it comes down to the spiritual and the vibration as well as obviously the medical for those of you who are trying to have children at the moment. I am feeling blood work's being done, but I do feel they're going to find a solution. I will see you during the month, and if you are wanting a booking, you can go to the link directly below. Love and light.